back with another video. So y'all, today's video is a sponsored video and I received this package from Tress Wellness. It's a waxing company. So we're gonna do like a little how-to today, a little informative video for those of you who want to wax from home and don't want to come into the shop and get your wax done. I highly recommend certain wax, certain waxing areas you go to the shop, like a Brazilian, your butt, all that stuff, go to the shop. But your legs, armpits, arms, things like that, eyebrows, like if you're okay with doing it yourself, you're more than capable of doing it yourself. So I'm gonna do like a little informative video today and should just show you guys like some tips and tricks that will make waxing at home a little easier. If you guys did not know, I'm actually a licensed esthetician. I'm in my shop right now. I just got done with a client. I did a full body wax on her. So I'm like, this is the perfect time for me to do a video. I can get this PR video out of the way. So let's get it going. So they give you two different sizes of the wax sticks. You can use this for brows, this for your legs, arms, whatever you wanna use it for. They give you the ring for the wax pot. This is the wax pot. I took all the bubble wrap and everything off. And the rings are to go, go like around. So that way you keep it from getting all the wax on the inside of it. So that's for cleanliness. They also give you the pre-wax and after wax and with the spray caps to go with it because that's gonna help you spray. It's gonna help you like spray on yourself better than using these ones. So I'm kind of glad they separated because it keeps it from spilling out during transit while it's, while it's getting to you being shipped to you. They also give you five different, so that's amazing. They give you five different waxes that you can test with. That in their they're scented. They have lemon, tea tree, peppermint, lavender, and eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, if I'm saying it, eucalyptus. I think I'm saying it right, so correct me if I'm wrong. So they give you all of that inside of the waxing kit. And they also give you just little cards to read over. You get a warranty card. You get the Wax Like a Pro, a beginner's guide. This is just like a thank you for choosing Trust Wellness. Cute little card. And then this is just, what is this? This is, okay, so you can scan this QR code and it unlocks all the best tips and tricks by scanning the code. It gives you like waxing tips and tricks. So this is great for beginners, guys. If you're a beginner waxer and you wanna wax yourself at home, this kit is amazing. Check it out on Amazon. Like I said, I'll put the link to this link to this in my description bar. I'm okay, babe, so just for reference, my temperature on here is at 136. And I think this is like perfect temperature. And I want you guys to know it's different factors with the temperature setting. So this is per one pack. So, lit, okay. Because I want y'all to understand what I'm saying. Okay, so this is one of the packs they sent. This is 3.5 ounces. So I put the whole pack of the lemon scented wax inside of here. So based on the weight of that wax, this is the temperature I have it at for the perfect consistency. If I have probably all all of these, like all of the packs they sent me, if I combine them all in here, the temperature would be different because it's more wax in there. So it's like, I don't wanna say it's science, but it's like, you know, if it's more in there, you will have to have it higher for the right consistency. Okay, so. Let me show y'all the consistency of this now. So you see, it's a little, I'm able to get more on my stick and it's a little more firm. If I get it any more firm than that, it would be harder to spread because it would dry so fast because it's already pretty much like cooled down. So this is perfect. Like, look at that. So I'm gonna show y'all how how it's done. I'm not gonna do like my full arm or anything. But okay, so this is how this is how you would test it before you do it on somebody. You don't need to pick up a lot because you're just testing it. And of course, this is my wax pot. I don't use this on the customers that I have. That's a disclaimer because you never want to double dip your spatula. When you're working on someone else as a professional, you only dip once. So this will be my one dip. I will lay it on them and I throw the stick away and you get another stick. During a wax service, 
the girl I just did, I probably used about 100 sticks on her because I did her full body. But you have to use another stick. This is my wax pot, so I don't really care. So, you know, I'm only going to use this on me. So, I'm going to just show y'all. So, before you start to wax yourself, check the temperature. Just boop, 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 boop. That feels perfect. It's not too hot. So, now... It's nice and dry. Take it off. Now you've checked the temperature. Now it's time to work. So this is the pre-wax. So you spray this on the area you're working on. Get it nice, clean. So now your area is clean. Oh, that smells good. I do that because, you know, to make sure... It's not falling or anything, because look, if I just let it do that, it's going to start falling. So I twirl, making sure it's not falling. So I put it on there, and I spread. I spread until I feel like it's nice, nice and even all around. And then I swoop. That has a... That spray is excellent. I love this wax. Y'all, get y'all this. This spray is really good. This is very beginner friendly. And it doesn't take long to dry. And you don't want to leave it on too long. Typically, you want to hold your skin taut and then pull. But I can't because my hand is here. If I was doing my leg, I could. But I can't. So I just have to pull. So this is my lip. That's why I swoop to create a lip. Hold on. I can't hold my skin taut so I can't get my lip. So you just... Rip it off. You twirl, get any strings that are hanging. So this is how I lay. Make sure it's spread nice and even. And honestly, me doing that created a nice little lip, but how you create your lip is you go down and you swoop. That's how you create a lip. And another way you can remove it, if you're not good at creating a lip, after you do it, just leave your stick right at the end and wait for it to dry. And then once it's nice and dry, just rip it off. easy it's easy to wax at home if you need more trick if you need more tips on how to wax at home please let me know down in the comments so after you and then once you're done waxing you take your after wax spray spray all over the area you just waxed and that's not only gonna soothe the area but it's also gonna remove any wax residue that's left over and then it gives you just smooth shiny area Okay, besties, that is the end of this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any more questions on waxing, if you need more tips and tricks on waxing. Let me know in the comments. I can do like more of a detailed video on waxing at home. Once again, there will be a link to this complete waxing kit in my description bar. So make sure if you are looking for this kit, make sure to check the description bar. Check that out. And I'm going to see you guys on my next video, besties.